Hello guys, welcome back to Simulated Heaven. Now, this is a very interesting video. I think I'm going to do a little mini series of videos which is basically to show you guys where I have come from. Why am I interested in racing? And in particular, why am I interested in sim racing? Now, as you can see, I'm playing a retro game here. This is one of the first racing games I can ever, I can ever remember playing that just made me feel like wow this is called stunt car race on the amiga and i apologize if there's a bit of a blinking uh you know there's a line that is going across blinking occasionally i apologize about that i think there was a problem with the emulation because i am using an amazing amiga emulator which is called amiga forever which i find really user friendly and it's really amazing anyway so yeah so i thought i would show you guys this game because I have so so many memories of this game as a kid. Like, I think I bought an Amiga when I was about 13 or 14 ish. I remember I used to work in a petrol station in England when I was around that age, and I saved up all my coins because I'd previously had an Amstrad CPC 464. And I really wanted an Amiga. The, the Amiga in England at that time was the in thing. All my friends had Amigas, I was saving up and I was so happy. I can remember the day when I bought that first Amiga, it was an Amiga 600 that I bought with my own money and I was very happy about that. So yeah, then I used to spend many hours playing this game and I absolutely loved it. And I can remember just being amazed at the graphics because way back then, the fact the game was in 3D I mean, I still think the game looks pretty amazing for a retro game. And, yeah, it used to blow me away as a kid. And I used to just love all of the crazy tracks where you have to, like, try to stay on the track and try to go fast without actually cracking your vehicle. Because you see there's like a roll bar that goes around the screen. Now, you will see at the top there's a hole and there's a... A crack line as soon as those two meet then your vehicle is wrecked and then your race is over so I, I still I still still to this day love just having a you know a quick game on this stunt car racer absolutely amazing game and of course I have some other other games that I can remember as a kid um, and I will try to do some more videos. I don't think I would go as far back as the Amstrad because, to be honest, the Amstrad, I wouldn't say... I mean, obviously, it did kind of start me off as a gamer, so I would say the Amstrad kind of started me off on the path of gaming, but I would say the more defining games for me were, in, were with the Amiga because I was a bit older then, you know, at that time. I was a little bit older. Look at that. So this was always the moment in the game where you'd be like, <laughs> Rex. So, yeah. Um, I would say the Amiga, the Amiga games were more defining games for me, you know, than... Uh, than the, the Amstrad games. I can remember on the Amstrad, I did play some racing games like Chase HQ, Outrun, obviously. I pre I'm pretty sure I had Outrun on the on the Amstrad CBC 464. But at that point, it, I wouldn't say I was ever specifically interested in racing games. But then it, when the Amiga came around, this and one other game, which I'll do a video on. I'm not going to spoil the surprise now, but there's one other major game that I would say I spent even more time on than this game. And I totally failed there, didn't I? Look, <laughs> right from the beginning. Yeah. But yeah, um, that other game that I'm going to do another video on, I spent even more hours, and I it was an, um, that was another amazing game, which I will obviously talk about when I do the video. Um... So basically in this video, I think I choose three tracks. These first two tracks are in Division 1, so they're not totally crazy. Then I do one of the Division 4 tracks just to show you a more um, harder track. But it was always hard trying to balance in this game, trying to go fast but not actually wrecking your vehicle. Because obviously if you do, a, you know, if you over, over do a big 
a big jump and you you know you can actually really wreck your vehicle so it was always a a balancing act um i couldn't quite work out now at first when i saw that the you know when the fire is coming out of the exhaust i thought that at first i i could i thought i could remember that was like a turbo but actually it seems to slow you down but I can't really remember because obviously the last time I really played this game was such a long time ago. Um, I couldn't remember, but it seems like that's actually a break, you know. So that break, um, I think, is to kind of stop you. If you overdo something, I think you can use that break to slow yourself down a bit so you don't crash quite as badly. Um, but yeah, and actually this is a game that I believe was made by Jeff... Cranmond. and funnily enough he was the, he's the guy that makes the other important game that I was talking about earlier he he actually makes that one as well this track is called drawbridge as you can see there's a drawbridge I couldn't quite remember how I was supposed to do that <laughs> if I was supposed to wait for it to go back down or just go for it but I kind of wrecked out there here we go so then I go into another I believe now I go into the heart of the one, the Division 4 one, the roller coaster, which is one I can always remember. But in my memory, I can always remember it being more crazy. I was slightly, slightly disappointed when I did this track. I thought it was a bit crazier from what I can remember. Oh, and by the way, if you can hear random noises in, in the background, when I was recording this video, I actually thought I had muted my microphone, but amazingly, even though I had the microphone on zero, somehow, some, well, somehow it was still recording. I don't know how. Anyway, sorry about that if it's annoying. <laughs> so, um, I would like you guys to tell me in the comments, what was... You, the thing that got you into gaming what are your big memories as a child because I really 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 believe that for most of us we're formed into into gamers as a child and I've had a computer since I was about I think I would say about seven or eight and I've always had a computer from that age and yeah, I really feel that that was what formed me into a gamer and also the racing, the racing games that I played on the Amiga I think really set me up to be interested in racing and not only that, interested in simulation games. The other game that I'm going to do a video on, video on you'll be able to see the simulation kind of comparison a bit more in that game but this game is not really anything to do with simulation really but it is still an amazing game so yeah in the comments i want you to tell me what was the thing if you're into racing games what was your earliest memory of a game that really got you into that um yeah it'd be great to hear so i believe i did one more lap one more lap on the roller coaster. I'm, I'm hoping you're going to work out why the screen was flickering. It might just be this version. I basically have downloaded a massive uh, group of Amiga games. I've got hundreds of them. And the thing that's really good about that is usually every game has about three or four versions that you can try. So I have about three or four versions that versions of this game so I'm not sure if it's a problem with the emulation why it's having a little bit of a flicker or if it's just a problem with this version of the of the ROM but anyway I hopefully I might be able to get that sorted and I'm actually thinking I might do some live streams of this game as well because yeah I would really like to relive playing this game and it's it still holds up pr pretty well. I mean, I I still have a lot of fun with it. And these kind of vectored 3D kind of graphics. I mean, at, at the time, it looked amazing, you know. But even now, it still looks pretty cool to me. And I think my driving has gotten slightly better. <laughs> you know, starting to get into the groove of the game a bit more. 
and I believe whoa that was one big jump and I believe now I quit out so thank you for watching the video I hope you enjoyed learning about some of my history as a gamer and like I said um, hopefully I'll see you in the next one